welcome back to another episode of On the Egg Kingdom. This is Brandy Parker here. Um, bring or gonna show you. Well, basically, Isaac's gonna be dying today. Yes, I know. And then we'll get to his funeral. But I also, before his death, wanted to show you some certain things that came up I saw in Flowerland, or it's also known as something else. But this blue shell came up as this buyable item, and same as the starry sand. So thought that was cool. I thought that the um lunch thing I saw with a Switch version um, would be in here. I looked everywhere and I haven't seen it. So I guess it's only for the Switch version. So it's at the general store basically is where you can get the Starry Sands and the Blue Shell. But yeah. And so, right. Um, I have an item that I want to give as a sort of gift before Isaac passes away. So I need to go and find Isaac. I'm going to give him this gift. As a kind of going away um, gift to before he dies. Just something that, you know, just something nice before he dies. I know it's usually something you do afterwards, like have flowers, like afterwards and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I just thought it'd be kind of sweet to give him something before he goes away. So, but yeah, we'll, um, I'll get <laughs> Alright, I made it to Isaac, so I'm about to give his present. Please accept this. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'm going away present. Good. And then we'll catch your death, Isaac, and make sure that we get it. Alright, guys. Isaac Dyson is about to die. Let's get on to his death. Life's light is fading. Soon Isaac will be directed to Ganos. Isaac! Oh, Gladys! His great-granddaughter! I have no regrets, as long as everyone is happy. Isaac! Holy Naga, use your messenger. Lead this soul that belongs to the gods to the land of Ganos. And until the funeral, guys. Okay, guys, Isaac's funeral. Last night, a traveler left for Ganos, guided by the god Naga. Their remains have been laid to rest in our kingdom, and now their soul can find everlasting peace among the gods. We can no longer speak as before, but through the gods we can sense the departed soul. As long as those of us who remain here do not forget. Gods in heaven, we ask that you wrap our brethren in the cloth of peace. Holy Shizni, give those remaining in your world your love and solace. Welcome back to the last parts of this episode. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my outfit so that way if like next year I become a farmer I'll change my outfit again. Yeah, kind of going crazy with the outfit. So we're going to remove that, go on to the next day and find out. Oh wait, I forgot to show you one last thing. How could I forget? Anyways, I'm going to go back and show you guys. So you might have seen it, but I got this thing right here. It's so cool. It's the, um, FOMOS doll snow, or snow. Yeah. Hi, friend. Yeah. Nice that it's a new year. Anyways. But yeah, and totally worth it. I love it. I wish I had the Sakura one. I once had it before, but maybe this spring I'll get it again. But anyways, let's get on to the next year and find out if I become a farmer because it's going to be white knight year and yeah, just all that white knight stuff. Along with Luke growing up and then being in the New Year's celebration because I'm Princess Consort. Yep, just as I thought. Look at that. I'm a farmer. So, I had a feeling that was going to happen. So, one thing's for sure is I'm going to change out my outfit again, obviously, because I don't really care for the farmer outfit. Yada yada. Yeah, put the new quest in. And yeah, you'll get again, you'll get to see Luke grow up, so that's going to be really cool. And I don't remember what the New Year's, I think it's just called New Year's Celebration, which is at like 2MT. But yeah, Prince or Princess Consorts or Princess or Princesses, any of them have to go to the celebration thing unless they're married and their second kid on. Except for if they're the first kids, which they're continuing the family line in the royal family, then they always have to be there for the New Year's Celebration. But anyways, do I want to go FOMOS? No, not this time. But anyways... What I'm going to show you is I'm going to be changing my outfit to the snow crystal coat along with changing my hairstyle 
or hairstyle, I mean, to the bridal hairstyle, if you remember what the wedding um, hairstyle looks like for the girls, well, this is basically it. All you have to do is get this at the Amber Shop and get this. So that's in the um, mobile version. But anyways, if you want to find out how to get into, like, this item in the Switch version, it might be a DLC, but you can go and research online. It's on the wiki. But this is what my character looks like. And oh my goodness. I didn't like this, like, outfit on her before, but with the hairstyle, it just really completes it. Really love the snow crystal um, coat along with the bridal hairstyle. So, yeah, just like a little new thing. Speaking of which, besides me becoming a farmer, did Mikkel become a farmer? No, of course he didn't. Why am I not surprised? But anyways, yeah, until the New Year's celebration. And we're back for the New Year's celebration. Let's get this show on the road. And oh, look at us all there. And right next to Mikkel, that's his um, brother, Abelard. Anyways, let's get on to it. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on a new year. And now we will be honored to hear a, or to hear a New Year's message from their majesty. I am truly delighted that we were able to spend this year in peace and prosperity, and to greet the new year this way as well. Thank you, your majesty. Next, in accordance with tradition, we will hear vows before the god Shizni from representatives of all, or of all social institutions. We Roselle Imperial Knight Guardsmen swear unswerving loyalty to their majesty and to the subjects of the kingdom. We swear... We swear to train vigorously to be the kingdom shield and to drive away all male factors. We, Dormy Mountain Corps, keeping with the vow our founder, Dorme Niv, made with his majesty, the first king, do swear to endeavor for the kingdom's prosper prosperity and to be a wall protecting the kingdom to drive away all male factors. We, the Galton Scholars Association, in return for such ardent protection, do swear to research the truths of the world and to bring the fruits of that research to the everyone in the kingdom. We, the Farmers Management Association, following the guidance of the gods and receiving the blessing of the goddess of the harvest, Furtis, do swear to work every day to make sure that the people never go hungry. I am deeply moved that in the long history of our kingdom, these vows have never been broken. Let us continue to devote ourselves to the kingdom's prosperity. As they all clap. But yeah, until of course Luke gets to grow up to be an adult. Okay, the coming of age ceremony when we get to see what Luke looks like as an adult. Let's get on to it. Someone left flowers right there. Wow. Today, you are all adults. First, a word from the representative of the graduates. Yes, sir. Today, we spare our wings to take flight from the school, and we work hard to be a foundation for the growth of the kingdom, to the majesty who gave us the opportunity to learn, to the teachers who taught us, and to our mothers and fathers who raised us for this day. We thank you with all our hearts. Aw, thank you for the splendid speech. Next, we will be honored to hear a word from their majesty. As you become citizens of the kingdom, even after you've graduated school, do not forget to continue to learn, to live up to the achievements and expectations of those before you, and to earn the, gratitude, or the, the gratitude of future generations. Let us move the co this country forward together. Thank you, your majesty. Now, the graduation and coming of age ceremony is finished. Let's see what Luke looks like as an adult. And there he is! Wow! I chose wisely. To put him with number one hairstyle, he looks just really good in it. Makes it look really good. And he look at this guy! I mean, he's just really attractive. Holy smokes. You know what? Luke, I'm gonna dress you up in the dorme clothes because why not? Plus, he would look really good in it. So, let's see if I can find it here. Where is it? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. There it is. Found it. Now, where's Luke? Oh, Luke, my brother. He's in the throne room. Well, let's go and find him and change him in this outfit. Hey, try on these clones. Or, clones? Wow. Clothes, I mean. <laughs> Anyways, pretty please. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I'll try it on. Dude, it's not going to affect your job. And he looks really good in it. Holy smokes. I'm taking a picture of that. Same as the back part, too. It's really interesting how the back looks for the guy compared to the girl, of course. So, yeah. I'm leaving this on until, of course, he gets married. But 
I hope you guys enjoy this episode and I will see you on the other side.